Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I want to talk to you guys about iOS 7.1.2 activation lock and show you guys a new bypass discovered in 7.1.2 that allow you to get past the activation lock screen and access contacts, photos, stuff like that. So first off, 7.1.2 was released to patch many security bugs found in iOS 7.1.2. One of them is Dolce's 7.1.2 server bypass. If you guys remember, I talked about that a lot in many different videos, basically telling you you guys that Dolce server was the solution and that it would bypass the activation lock screen in 7.1.2. Unfortunately, Apple got hold of this and they patched it in 7.1.2, so you can say goodbye to that. It's highly unlikely that any server-side bypass like Dolce will ever accomplish a full bypass in 7.1.2, but in this video, I just wanted to show you a couple glitches found in 7.1.2 activation lock screen that will allow you to bypass this activation lock screen and get inside the phone, and it's really simple. So let me just go ahead and show you how it's done. All right, so it's a really simple process. You wanna make sure you have no SIM inside your phone so it says no sim up there dial 112 on your keypad when you select emergency call and press dial so it counts five one two three four five and that call so it never has a chance to connect and then dial it again immediately after as soon as it begins connecting end it press dial end press end and it didn't work this time so sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't let's go ahead and try it again call one two three, four, five, and that. As soon as it ends, immediately dial again and don't let it connect this time. Just end it, call back and end the call. So it didn't work again. Let's try it one last time. One, two, three, four, five, end that call. Call immediately after, end it, dial end and then end and call and boom, you're inside. So third time's a charm. Sometimes I gotta say it works instantly. Sometimes it takes a little while, but in the end it does work as long as you follow that step. So call, wait five seconds, end it, call again, immediately end it when you see call dialing, and then you'll get that little dial back menu, press the green button, the end button, the red button, and then the end button and then the green button and then it gets you here. So anyways, we'll try that again in a bit. But anyways, for now, you're inside the contacts, the phone application pretty much. So from here, you can dial phone numbers and you now have access to the contacts. If you're lucky, you could see the number of the previous owner in here. It's I have some phones I do, some phones I don't. So I can't say for certain. And it really depends on what firmware you're on. You could actually get full access into the phone if you select edit and then just create a new contact, but pretty much just edit an old one, triple click the home button, on. turn on Set voiceover, double click Alert. on this guy, delete select delete contact, and then triple click this. Now this doesn't work on 7.1.1 or 7.1.2, but if you're on an older firmware, it will actually take you to the home screen. You can go into FaceTime and get into the email of the old person that used this phone before you. Anyways, so, after you do that, it actually freezes your phone. So you can't do anything. Let's restart it. So I'm going to restart it and show you how to do it one last time. All right, so my phone has rebooted. Let's go ahead and try it one last time. So dial 112, call 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seconds, end it. Immediately after call, but before it connects, end it. You'll get to the screen, dial, and then press the end button, the red button. And sometimes it doesn't work, so let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, press the red button, call it again, end it immediately, dial in the end button, red, and then boom, you're in. So it's a really simple process. Unfortunately, in here, there's not much you can do. Unless you're on an older firmware, you can't actually get into the system, but if you're lucky, you could see their old phone number here. Maybe contact them through that. But anyways, guys, this is just a simple way to get into the activation lock screen. Fortunately, this will be patched pretty soon as well. And you can't use the camera, but other than that, there's really not much you can do. So just a little glitch in the activation menu showing you how to bypass it and get into the phone application on iOS 7.1.2, 7.1.1, and below. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.